If you play so rare, then so rare is probably the best tool out there that's going to help you get your lineups together, identify who those wonder kids are, and possibly help you pick up a bargain or two on the market. Today in this video, I'm going to be exploring a few free alternatives to Sora data that you might not know about. If this is the kind of content that you find useful, then please do give me a like and subscribe. Let's get into the video. So I've got a couple of websites to show you. The first one is this one, SoRareBase.Football. Um, you'll land on this page here, which is really useful. At the moment, it's populated mostly with the new Premier League cards, as you can see. But what I find really useful about this website is on this front page, Throughout the season, you know, when there is not a new league launching, you'll find the odd player card pop up here from teams that are already on the platform that maybe didn't register a new sign in or a youth prospect who's been moved into the first team. It's really good in that sense if you're trying to pick up some cards that maybe no one else has picked up just yet that can give you that differential and push you into the rewards, hopefully, on the leaderboard. So at the moment, we can see here a lot of new cards that are on sale from the Premier League that launched this week at the time of recording. There are a couple here, look, Dwight McNeil straight away is a card that hasn't been minted on the platform yet. And you can see they're on sale soon. So you can look forward to picking up a Dwight McNeil if he uh, picks your fancy. Also at the top here, this bar I find really useful. This gives us a little bit of an indicator of players whose prices are rising in recent moments. I'm not sure exactly how far this goes back, maybe a day. But you can see there the little fire emojis, how many purchases or sales have been made of this player and what percentage over their recent average they've gone up. So what I like to do sometimes is have a little look at these players and try and figure out why they're going up in price. Um, let's click one as an example. So Felipe Megialaro. I mean, there's not a huge jump there. There's a few purchases in limited. Um, usually, with this being a goalkeeper, you know, you want to hit the Google search, hit Twitter search and figure out if this player has made a decent move or maybe has come in as a backup to cover an injured goalkeeper. Always good to have your eye on the goalkeepers on the market. They are definitely a place where you can find a real fluctuation in price and can be quite profitable if you get in at the right time. Some other really good tools on so Rare Base Over here, you can go into the SO5 simulator and you can put together a team and see how it would have fared over the last few weeks. We're going to put together a little Premier League lineup here. And then you pick a captain. Let's go with Bruno. And it shows you how that team would have performed over the last few game weeks. These scores that are highlighted are weeks where the players all played. Um, but we can see as well that this lineup would have won us a few rewards. You can see that by the green area. So it uh, looks like a pretty decent lineup, that one. It does get in the rewards a few times when it plays, but that just gives you an example of one of the cool tools that you can do on so Rare Base. Another good tool is this Offers Evaluator. So you, if you are trying to figure out if you're sending a good offer to another manager or not, or if you've received one that you want to figure out if you're being fleeced or not, you can go ahead and look for one of your players. We're going to look at a Wendell and a Lionel Messi. And there straight away, you've got an estimated price of 0.165 for a Wendell, 0.2847 for a Messi. So whoever is on the receiving end of Messi in that trade is going to be massively better off. This is definitely a good tool and I'd recommend using it. You can also use it to search your own manager name or any manager name on the platform and it will give you a bunch of stats about their gallery and their performance in the SO5 competitions. So having a little look at mine, this is what... So rare base shows us gallery value, gallery trading, stuff like that. One of the things that I really like doing is having a little look at what my gallery is doing in terms of its price action at the minute. So if I scroll down, I can see all the cards that have recently been added to my gallery, either through a purchase or a trade or a card win. And you can see here that Darko Nyazmich was a card I won in the week. At the time of winning it, it was it was estimated to be valued at 0.3031. Uh, it hasn't been sold in Super Rare anytime since then, so it still kind of like keeps it at that price. But if we look a little bit further down, we can see cards or that I've bought or or won. Uh, so here's a good example. Ryan Cherky, a rare card that I bought um, right at the end of the year, the 30th of December. I paid 0.51 ETH 
and it is now trading at 1.05 ETH. So it shows me that I have made a 105% uh, profit on that purchase, which is really nice to see. Another good one here, Kilian K. Bue, who I picked up for 0.09, is now estimated to be valued at 0.36. That is a 304% increase. Woo! I have to be happy with that one. Obviously, it's not all fun and games. There's a lot of losses here taken. Sometimes, you know, these are trades I've made hoping to sell players on. I haven't quite done so yet, but I'll wait until they do come into profit and then I might look to relist them. The last tool that I want to show you on SoRareBase is this scouting tool, which I find really useful for identifying players that are undervalued for like their scoring output. So, for example, let's go into Rare. We're going to look for, um, let's go U23. We're going to turn my players off because I'm going to try and look for a player that I don't already own. L15 max of 100 games played. Let's just push that up to like 75%. So if we look here, all players look price from left to right and points from bottom to top. So the higher up these are, obviously up here we've got players that are hitting a 63 point average. Ricky Puig, 0.624 for his rare card. But we can see if we go back here, there are players that hit bigger averages at a lesser price. For Kundo Torres as an example there, 65 points, you can pick him up for 0.4. Just make sure that you do your research. Obviously, you want to see if Facundo Torres is still going to be where he is scoring these points. Anibal Moreno, another good example there, looking at this chart. John Tolkien, Alexander Alvarado, he's a card I've had in the past as well. So this is a good one for indicating players that may be undervalued um, or overvalued, as you can see there. Alan Velasco, 0.62 ETH. You can definitely pick up cards of a similar output for less money. But also, you know, you're going to need to do your research on these players, see if they've moved on, if there's a reason why their price is low. Websites like this are great for indicating some of these prices, but you can never beat going onto Google doing a bit of a search, digging through some articles and finding out the latest information on that player that may have caused their price to go up or down, make your own decisions based on what you read. So that's so rare base dot football. Great tool, a lot of good features there and even more features that I hadn't even gotten into just yet in this video. So go to so rare base dot football and then check out the rest of them and see if there's any tools in there that you use that you particularly like. Drop one in the comments and maybe we'll check it out in another video. The next free tool is tactic.so. And this is what you're gonna see when you land. I've, as you can see, I've logged in using my SoRare login. Nice and easy to do. If you're already logged in on SoRare, just click the login and then it will kind of fire up all the information linked to your account. So you can start looking at things like your portfolio, information on cards you've sold. You can go into the market and start scouting players. Look at your trophy cabinet. We'll get into the trophy cabinet because why not? This is my video after all. Time to big up my chest. Here are some of the cards that I've won in the last few weeks. Uh, had a good one there. Look at that Moreno. So uh, this is a good way to have a little look at the trophy cabinet, so to speak. The cards that you've won. A really nice one here is this DNP detector. If we click in there and have a little look at what's going on. It just highlights some of the players in your gallery that have an injury highlighted, usually by a transfer marked or sports gambler, some of the websites out there that are really good to use to look at injuries. Uh, not all of these are up to date, obviously. Some of these cards have maybe been out long term injured and they're players that are playing in teams that haven't started their fixtures again. Victor Moses is a good example there playing in Russia at the time of recording this video, their season has not restarted through their winter break. Um, I do expect him to still be out for a little while when they do come back, but his injury status has probably not been updated for a little while and won't be done until Spartak start playing fixtures again and they start sending injury reports to the outlets that end up feeding them back into transfer market, etc. You can also click this button here, has a match next week and it just shows you the players that have a fixture. So it kind of filters out some of those players like Moses I just mentioned, who doesn't have any games just yet. Let's have a look at this hot deals button over here. So landing in hot deals, it kind of shows us some of the players whose prices have maybe dropped at the moment. Um, you can also click this button, which is really nice, show only consistent players. 
So this is just going to show us players who consistently hit and play in the teams that they play for. It's probably just filtered out a few of the players who have maybe missed the last few games because maybe their price has dropped because they're injured, which is quite useful if you're trying to pick up a card for the game week in hand. So we can see here there's quite a few players and it shows us what the discount percentage is, which is a really nice feature. It also shows us how much money we're going to save based on their recent average sales as well. So if we scroll down, you can see quite a few good examples here and a few bad ones, I'm sure. I think the yellow indicates those that are at a discount in limited and the red is those that are at a discount in rare. So that is a really nice, useful tool that you haven't seen on some of the other platforms um, and might be really useful for you. So tactic.so, hot deals, uh, gets the thumbs up from me. Consistency, now this is a really useful one if you're picking up new players because what you really want in so rare is players who play every game and don't sit on the bench or get no points. This consistent players tab gives you a little bit of an outlook on players who have played 85% or more possible minutes based on the last 50 matches. So that puts you beyond the L40 that we often see on other platforms. It does include some of these players here. Ika Casillas um, is a little bit of an outlier because he is a legend card. Obviously, he is going to play every game, every minute. Um, Konstantinas Lamprow, I know, doesn't actually play in a covered league at the moment. He is in the second tier of Dutch football. So he is probably a bit of an outlier as well. So you do need to be careful. Still a little bit of research to be done on these players, but you can use it as a good indicator of players that you might want to pick up before you go and do your extra research. So a nice little tool there and one worth a look, definitely. They also have a really nice player finder, which is something that a lot of people like to use Sora Data for. So here is a free alternative to that that gives you most of the tools that you need to find the players that you're looking for. So you can go into your average prices over here and search in Euros, in Unique, Super Rare, Rare and Limited. We can do a quick search now for maybe a player who is under 23. So we're going to put that down to 23. Uh, let's look for a player who has a game in the upcoming game week. Let's look for a midfielder and let's get into their scoring and try and find a player who has a decent average score, maybe over 55. We can see there it's found 70 players. We can start whittling those down and let's sort by the last five, best first. So these are the players that meet all of our requirements and we can see their prices there, really nice. You can see their price in euros, in limited with the yellow border around it or in rare with the red. You can see their scores there. We can see the percentage of games played. So some of these, again, outliers. Victor Jensen there, Sadelec. There are a few. You want to maybe uh, go into uh, no injury or suspension. Uh, let's maybe get into their playing percentages and put that up a little bit as well. Last 15 games played, let's put that over 80% and try and really nail down some quality here and spot a bargain. A lot of good examples here of players who hit the scores that we're looking for. And you can spot a bargain there. Senna Linen, 12 euros compared to some of the others might be a bargain for you. Callum Slattery there as well, 5.81 could be a bargain. So definitely a good tool there for uh, identifying some of the players that you might want to pick up for the game week ahead or for the future. That just about wraps up this video. We've looked at two great platforms that you can use for free that are going to give you some good information and insight on the so rare market and on your own gallery that help you pick the best team for the upcoming game week. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe and share it to your friends. If you're playing so rare this weekend, good luck in the game week and I'll see you on the next video.